What's up everybody, it's me, back again, in another gaming video. So today we're gonna be playing Rodwood and showcasing one of the most strongest build in the entire game. You guess it, it's shotgun build, <laughs> you may be wondering. Uh, but this build is better, the stomping build. No, let me tell you something, after this update that they added the ability to upgrade weapon past their limit, to be on par with endgame gears, the shotgun build has become the staple of the game. Okay, let me show you why. People, they mostly hate playing with cannon because cannon is quite hard to play and learn. It's one of the most strongest weapon in the game, in the entire game. And today we're gonna be playing with this armor here. This is level 1 by the way. Keep in mind that I don't have material to upgrade yet. But it's gonna be much more stronger once I do. And for the armor leg piece, I'm gonna go with the dodge build. And you see my weight is not that good. I can do this one. Clearly do increase damage. Also good. This is a light build. But instead, we're gonna go with this thing. The Yamo knocking pattern. Focus it deal more damage. Okay, so this gun right here has the ability. Special ability of this gun is to reload one cannon at a time. So whenever you reload one cannon at a time, the your first shot always be focus hit shot. You see what well, you see the build here. You reload and you fire shotgun build to deal with massive damage. And this is keep in mind that all my gears are all level one, so it's not doing maximum damage. Anyway, we're gonna be testing on the Frenzy 3 level to see, to show you guys how strong this this build really is. We're gonna be doing this one first because my gears are not that strong. So it's makes them to do the first zone first. <laughs> this one is fun. When you dodge, launch a bomb, new clearing more damage for 30 seconds is tempting. Also the bomb. You know what? I'm thinking about the bomb. This is the bomb build. We're gonna go with power up instead of Tefra. Because this is frenzy, we're gaining Tefra easily now. You see how fast I kill the little guy right there? This is not even max gear yet when I killed that guy like in two shotgun blast. And also, uh, just to let you guys know that this build right here, the focus build, whenever it, it, I hit focusing shot, all of these bullets will deal like piercing damage. They'll pierce all the enemy when you dodge. Huh. Each time I kill enemy, I gain I gain five percent crit. That wow, that's broken. Crit build in this game is quite broken, actually. Let me show you. Uh, let me get out of the way and reload one at a time. You see, it pierces through enemy and deal massive damage. So the cannon is the safest way play around because it's basically let you hit enemy from far away unlike other weapon Ooh, there's a fortifying ingot for upgrading all the gears okay this is good for this choice right here we're gonna go with the super power up i call this one super power up and I, I know it has a name but get out of the way of the least little guy this guy can be like the most pain in the ass so whenever we use the shotgun shot it also comes with dodging because this how this is how cannon work so you dodge with the shotgun and when you dodge, you launch bomb. This is why I chose bomb build to play around. Because this is good with my combo. We got some mini boss here. This is the Yamo mini boss. 
Ow, I got hit right there, but that's okay. I got hit again. Let's get out of the way. Oops. I'm going to die, bruh. But that's okay because I survived. Hmm. Perfect dot. Gain shield. And I believe this thing. Yes. 10 per 10 critical hit. Per focus hit. This one is strong. Hmm. This time we're gonna be taking Tefra because I need Tefra to restore my potion and I'm gonna be maybe getting upgrade. You see here, the problem with playing with cannon is you're not getting a very good dodge, which you need to position yourself very far from enemy in order to deal range damage and avoid getting hit. So this is what we've been doing here, we're trying to stay far away from enemy. Got some Tefra. Ready to go. Of course. Yes. Perhaps it's the most annoying enemy. Which is this guy right here. And the uh, roly poly guy. Also quite annoying. I'm gonna die right here. I'm not gonna survive. I uh, have good build. No. Okay, I'm gonna die, bro. Gonna die for real. Run speed or basically glass cannon. Wow, this is scary. Ooh, wow, this guy is quite scary. And they charge at you. They're gonna be doing huge damage. You see, I hate this guy so much. The three guy is not that annoying, quite hard to deal, quite easy to deal with, I mean. We have option right here to go with the chop or potion. I'm gonna choose potion because it's guaranteed to, to have potion, of course, with shop. They also sell potion sometimes, but not often. I'm gonna get guarantee potion. This time I'm gonna use it right here. Good. Can I even refill or not? No. I cannot get another one. I can also get treasure bundle. Ooh, look at all this good stuff. Quite nice. To upgrade all the this phone related gears. So, this guy. So this is how you do big damage with cannon. Just be patient. And done. Hmm. What is this? 
Oh yes, this is what I'm talking about. This is uh, the best power up for this build because when whenever I kill enemy with focus hit, I gain one shield segment, and shield segment act like holy mantle from uh, binding of Isaac. This let you take free hit, but instead this time you take one damage. But that's okay. Okay, this one is the upgrade fragment, upgrade power up. I mean. Fragment. What the hell is fragment? Hmm, focus hit. I'm gonna go with focus hit, deal 20% quick chance. Because this is better. And for choice, I'm gonna go with potion because I prefer survivability. And yes, I have very low level armor and gears, which is why. I went for potion room instead. Ah. Okay then. For this one, I think I'm going with more power up. Seems like a smart choice. Oh, look at this. Look at this room. I hope I can knock down some enemies. Like this, this guy right here. I haven't utilized the bomb build that much but it's always useful to shoot bomb that you drop on the ground to deal extra damage to your enemy like this right here okay now watch they all die one guy survived oh okay then see I gain one shield segment whenever I kill enemy no longer push. Why would I want that thing? This thing like not looking good at all. Or sound any good. Hmm. Oh, so this one is basically thorn. Make you deal damage back to attacker. Quite useful, in my opinion. Better than that thing. We got crazy Dave guy right here. Giving us random gift. Refill my potion and when I drink more potion I gain more health. Cool. Okay, we're gonna be hitting uh, the bomb on the ground. Okay, see you see? I one shot at that guy. He's the mini boss and he's quite strong. And I one shot him with heavy attack. Oh god damn. What this one? Dodge. Charm ally. Gain 100 maximum health. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, I'll take this one. This is all heal. Oh, my health bar to full. Don't mind. Okay. That's progress. I'm gonna kill onion guy first, this guy is annoying to deal with. This is my top priority, I always kill onion guy. Ow. That hurt. Okay then, we got holy mantle back again. So this build has like so many strategy to build around with because every shot deal focus hit damage so it's really good oh when your focus hit kill enemy or hit something it heal you interesting this is interesting indeed when i go for upgrading power up and after this one we'll fight boss Let's see. Thirty critical chance for focus hit. Yes. And for last one, we need to spend this thing. Five hundred damage is good damage. Not gonna lie, it's it's huge. 
Okay, let's fight the boss here. We're going to be fighting... Mother Tree. She's kind of tricky. Mm hmm. Just be patient here. Because this bot is not hard. This is fancy tree, so this bot is quite tanky. Uh, the next attack. Yes. Quite easy to dodge, also. Hmm. Also, cannon has another mechanic where you reload like quick at the perfect timing. You get perfect reload. Ah. See, when we are up ammo, we cannot dodge anymore. This is the cannon biggest flaw. Okay. That phase again. Quite easy to deal with these enemies. Ow, oh, damn. Damn you, Yammo. You ruined all my plan. It's okay, we're gonna rotate to that side. Okay. So we are still in light build. We're moving quite fast. Let me finish up with shotgun shot. All keep in mind is all gears are level one, and I destroyed Frenzy Tree. Okay, let's complete this expedition and go back our home. I believe this cannon is level three or something, but all armor they are all level one. Let me check, just to be clear. Man, it's so annoying <laughs> to dodge with cannon, let me tell you that. Okay, so, this, and, oh, what's that? Oh my god, wow! No, drop by on hunt. Yeah, I know, I know what they are now, thanks to Description of the game. You better. You better. Oh fuck. Oh, oh, kill you. I can fortify Yama knocking pattern now. Let's do that real quick. Yes. Second time. Require the nocturne one. Huh. Interesting. So, the reason I chose this uh, pan right here is it make your dodge faster and move through objects, which is quite useful for dodging. Huh. We can upgrade plenty. Ooh, next one will be the fortify one. Cool. So this is cannon build, let's see the damage overall. 12 hit at a time, let's, let's see the single target one. So, single target 5 hit with the damage of 1000 that's not bad keep in mind that I can deal crit damage with the help of this armor right here if I have it upgraded it will deal even more damage so this build is quite good for 
early game to end game. The next video we're gonna be showing the most OP build in the game release. They are using that build, which is understandable because it's the most strongest build ever. And it's quite game breaking build. Let's end the video. See ya in the next one.